Okay, let's talk about multiply string. So in this question, it's so hard to explain. And I've tried multiple times recording the video, but think about it. Like when you want to convert to uh to integer from string, right? You actually cannot convert the entire uh string to integer at first because you are in a in a stack overflow. So the problem is you convert a single integer, a single string, single character into into the integer, and then you do a multiplication, and then you convert it back. So that's how it is. So let's give this guy credit for a graph, and he actually explained pretty well. So imagine you have one, two, three, and times forty-five, right? So you do a multiplication: three times five is fifteen, two times five is ten, and then one times five is five, right? So another I mean another index is four times three is twelve, four times two is eight, and four times one is four. So you end up the index problem, right? What what do you mean index problem? Index problem is like um you you are going to have a result of integer array for this uh for this result, right? These two multiplication result, right? So you are going to have the maximum possibility that you can end up with. So you're going to say the length of the nums one and length of uh, plus the length of nums two will be the greatest, right? So imagine nine nine nine, nine times nine nine nine, right? So you will end up like the maximum is five index, right? So this is how it is, and let's think about how do you how do you actually do it. So, uh, when you are doing this, right, eight plus one plus five plus one, you will end up more than ten, right? You need to carry one carry one before you right so this is how you actually like you can actually store your position like store your carry into the position p1 i mean imagine this i mean imagine p1 i, I will use the same variable later so uh let's see so this is p1 this is p2 so p2 will remain uh will, will remain less than 10 so which means um i will mark 10 later and I will, I will divide by 10 for the carry and then when you just add, you just add this index, I mean, uh, add this number into it, so that will be your final solution. Okay, let's just stop coding, it's too much talking. And let's see, so I will say int m equal to nums1 dot length and n equal to nums2 dot length, right? That will be the idea position, uh, idea solution, so the position, the, in the array, the result will be the maximum n plus n, right? So I'm going to start from the back. So I'm going to start from the back, right? So that would be like this, right? And this one, j plus k, j minus minus. So this is pretty standard, right? So I do, I, I do need to do the multiplication, right? So let's just go mod, mod okay? So I would say m1 the chart at, at i, and since it's characterized, I need to uh make sure I subtract by zero, then do the multiplication for nums two, and this is j sorry, and they will subtract character zero. So how can you actually know p1 p2? So p1 is definitely before p2, right? In this example, p1 is before p2. So when you have plus one is definitely p2 so int p1 will become i plus j and p2 will become i plus j plus one this is how it is and we have the sum so what was actually equal to sum so sum is equal to um okay let's initial initial is multiple right but it's actually you need to plus the carrier which is uh, which is p2 so imagine that you're at least you're at least uh a list rule right you need to add the value for this column right so in this column you end up adding i mean that would definitely add right so in this in this index it's actually seven it's not it's not it's not one so one plus five plus one is seven right so when you when you do at least multiplication you, you will end up eight plus seven so that would be there will be position at p2, right? Then what you actually need to do is that you need to say position p1 is equal to plus equal by the way, plus equal to sum divided by 10, right? I just said it, and then p2 will become sum mod 10. This is 
this is actually um you don't want to you don't want to carry uh, carry over 10 to to p1 so p2 is 15 right now you, you agree with me right 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 5 is 15 so you want to carry 1 into p1 but p2 should remain less than 10 so which is 5 so this is why i say p2 is sum mod 10 and then p1 is sum divided by 10 and then you need to just keep adding so this is why it's plus equal you, you are no longer need p2 for plus adding and plus equal sorry so that would be your solution so what what should i what, what should i return i should I return a string right so i need a string builder i would say it's b equal to new string builder and what happened if okay so the maximum possibility the maximum length is n plus one what happened like for okay just for this example if the index zero is zero but index one should be nine i mean in this case it should be four right five sorry five in this one is five right but you will have but you will have zero before the five right so you can actually uh use a check function so i mean check boolean so i would say single to false i'm going to traverse the entire uh entire numbers in position and if p equal to zero and not seen so since false right i didn't have if seen is false i can just continue and so if i know the first index is zero and i didn't see the number yet i will say continue if i do then i will say single to true and then i will append sb dot append the number which is p right and it just return sp dot two string so what happened the sp dot two string is zero so uh, I mean the length is zero, so you just return zero. So sp the length equal zero. Uh, you will just return string zero. Otherwise, you will return the entire string. So let's just run it and see what happened. So this question is pretty hard, so I pass. So let's talk about time and space. So in this question, the worst case for the time. Like for example, this index, i, well, I mean j, sorry, j times three times for the, uh, three times in nums one, right? So every single integer has two times uh, another string index integer, right? So which is n time n. Is that Boolean? Uh, is that brutal force, right? And so that would be the time complexity and same as the space complexity. Same the space complexity would be m plus n. So it's not the times, but it's m plus n. They are going to be the maximum amount of integer you can actually store into, into a result. So m plus n for the space, and m times n for the time complexity. And this one is hard, and don't worry about it. I don't actually memorize it or get familiar with this kind of question. Just keep, keep practicing, and good luck.